solve equations in quadratic form. So this is equation 6 over x plus 1 whole square plus 1 over x plus 1 equals to 1. It doesn't really look like a quadratic equation. It is a rational equation, right? But I hope it can be written as a quadratic equation. Let's try to figure it out. So I'll do some substitution and see if it works. So what we can do is we can write x plus 1 as equals to t. In that case x plus 1 whole square is what? x plus 1 whole square will be t square. Correct? So let's do this substitution and see how the equation gets transformed. Okay? So this equation can be written as x over t square plus 1 over t, 6 over t square plus 1 over t equals to 1. Now to solve this, let's multiply everything by t square. So we get 6 plus t equals to t square. Now it is in quadratic form, right? So we can bring all the terms together and we have 0 equals to t square minus t minus 6. Good. Now we know the factoring techniques. So we need two numbers whose product is minus 6. That means we are looking for p times q which will give us minus 6 and when you add p and q you should get minus 1. Minus 1. So the two numbers could be 3 and 2. 3 should be negative because we want negative number after addition. 2 positive. So this could be written as t minus 3 times t plus 2. So that is the value of t. So from here this is equal to 0 only if t is equal to 3 or t equals to minus 2. So these are two possible solutions. But what we need is really x. So let's substitute this back into our equation and see. So x plus 1 is t. So we know x plus 1 equals to t. Now t is 3 for us. That means x plus 1 equals to 3. And so x is equals to 4, 3 minus 1. So x equals to 3 minus 1, which is 2. That is one solution. The other one is x plus 1 equals to minus 2. In that case, we have x equals to minus 2 minus 1 as minus 3. So these are two solutions which could give us the answer. It's a good point to check these solutions, right? Let's check them. So we are saying that uh, x is minus 3 or x equals to 2. So let's plug 2 here. So we get 6 over 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Plus 1 over x is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. That is what we get. Now to make common denominator, I could write this as 6 over 9 plus 3 over 3 times 3 is 3 over 9, which is 9 over 9. And that is 1. So this is perfectly fine. How about minus 3? So 6 over minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. So we get 4 here. Plus minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So we get 1 over minus 2. So that means 6 over 4 can be reduced as 3 over 2 minus half. And 3 by 2 minus half is 1 which is right side. So that is also perfect. Therefore, we can write down our answer as x is equal to minus 3 or 2. So that is how we can solve this rational equation by transforming it into a quadratic form and then utilizing all the skills which we have learned for factoring. Thank you.